Lieutenant. Hey, Gafano. Got that intel I'm looking for? What do you got on those guys? I got it right here, boss man. Let's start from the top. Chief Spicaroo, numero uno, Javier Ortiz. I mean, this dude's a big time drug overlord. He got ties from the DR all the way down to South America. His father used to run too, you know. He ran with the Colombians back in the late 70s, early 80s. You know, when his old man kicks the bucket, Javier jumps right in and inherits the family business. But this guy's no joke. I mean, he's highly educated, he's really resourceful. And the fucking guy's got political connections, make your head spin. Freaking diplomatic immunity or something. It's crazy. Yeah, that is fucking crazy. Well, his ghetto license needs to be revoked. Hey. And if not, then he has to pay the piper. I mean, if the devil himself wanted to dance in these streets, he'd have to pay rent in hell. Hey, I'm all about that, LT, but I'm telling you, getting to this dude is not going to be as easy as we think. I mean, he's slick. He's been laying low for the last ten years, quietly building up this empire, but I think he's resurfaced in the worst way. Why do you say that? Well, because now his number two chief enforcer is none other than Miguel Killer fucking Mike Rodriguez. Didn't that, guy, didn't, that, didn't that guy go in in like 2002 or three or something? Only well, got 10 years. I can't believe that asshole only got 10 years for all the dirt he's done. Because <sighs> Seti and I have been keeping a close watch on this team. They got this new young kid named uh, Rich. Mm. Real fucking Boy Scout. <laughs> Long ass rap sheet. The other day I saw him playing duck hunting on the fucking roof. No shit. <laughs> Mikey's new boy toy. The fuck is wrong with this guy? I mean, only a country banana boat hick would be target practicing in Washington Heights on a rooftop. I mean, this is a major crime infested area. Maybe he is a country bumpkin, or maybe he just don't give a fuck either. I mean, as for Mikey, if your boss was down with all the political guys in Washington, plus you're back with the corporate regime, you think you could dodge any bullet. You know, LT, it drives me crazy. These Rico Suaves, man, they come in this fucking country, they get it all figured out. You know, they got the best lawyers money could buy. They're seeing more money in a month than we're going to make in five years. It's crazy. Wow. The other day, Homicide found the body of the guy that testified against him ten years ago. It says here, his head was split open like a melon. <laughs> That's the motherfucker emptied the whole clip. No coincidence. I think it's personal. LT, of course it's personal. You're a smart guy. Put it together. You know it's Mikey. Ever since that dude's been out, he's been homicides, been bitching about all the paperwork they got to do. A couple of guys told me they see the huge spike in gang and drug-related murders and activity since the dude's been out. I mean, bodies are popping up everywhere. And you got to remember, this crazy spick's down with that gang, uh, Los Muertos or some shit. Motherfucker thinks he's in Sparta. <laughs> hey, and apparently when he was in the cage, he was starting shit up there too, you know? But you know what's interesting about this dude, man? He focuses his attention a lot on these black gangs and, uh, you know, I don't think this mentality's changed much. You know, yeah. that's interesting. The other day I was going to tell you this earlier, but I've been keeping my eye on this black drug organization in Harlem led by this old fart named uh, Boss Turner. <laughs> if Morgan Freeman were a drug kingpin, it would be him. Jesus. Real classy motherfucker. Eating caviar, flying in Lear jets, living like a damn aristocrat. Well, while he's running his enterprise abroad, he has his hot-headed nephew, Tory Burke, running operations here. Everything. Pills, dope, uh, identity theft, prostitution ring, and funneling all the dirty cash through legit businesses. Of course. I mean, his crew consists of some bad hombres, but they don't have the resources that the Chicos have, you know. The only leverage is that they have their strong connection with the big, bad Russian bears. I mean, that's not bad leverage to have, but I don't know, Lieutenant. We gotta do something, because the streets are talking, and what they're saying is, Mikey's looking up north to handle his business up in Harlem. I don't know what it is, but this dude's got a vendetta with these black gangs, and, uh, you know, we could be seeing the beginning of some sort of street war here. I'm surprised he hasn't already. Me too. But the reason why he's not doing it, and we need to investigate that more. Yeah. I don't want these savages killing each other off yet. <laughs> we got to figure a way to cash in on it first. So what do you have in mind? Corcassetti. I got a plan for these motherfuckers. I'm gonna play chess with them. I'm gonna make sure that money train's on track all the time. I like the way you think, LT. I'm on it. I'll call them right now. Hey, Setti. Gavano. Listen, dude. 